No one fights alone. Sometimes all we need is someone to hold our hand. Listen, and perhaps take a walk. I invite you to walk or run with us and help others get through their cancer journey. I'm Estela Casas, and I invite you to sign up for the Stand with Estela Casas inaugural 5K Fun Run and Kids Dash. Lace up your tennis shoes and join us October 1st as we kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And let cancer transform you into a better version of yourself. Because no one fights alone. Hello everyone, I'm Estela Casas, creative brand strategist for the Viva Auto Group family of dealerships. Thanks for listening to the Viva Style podcast, where we have interesting conversations about the automotive industry that provides hundreds of jobs in the borderland. Let's talk Viva Style. So much to do in El Paso. So yes. last week we went out to the La Union um, corn maze How and it was pretty that? fantastic it I was very that. fun it was a great fun uh, patricia martinez joins us today with the downtown management and there's always stuff going on downtown so tell us what you're working on during restaurant week okay so we actually have three events and two of them are running simultaneously so we have restaurant week which started last friday and it's 18 participating downtown restaurants like Anson 11, like Taft Diaz, like Cheezus, which if you've Ooh. been to Cheezus in downtown El Paso. Oh, but I can't eat cheese. It's all about cheese? It is all about the gourmet <laughs> grilled cheese. And OMG, they are the most fantastic things. Rockstar Burger. We have, oh, we have Grown Together, a vegan restaurant. And I am not a vegan by any stretch of the imagination, but OMG. Get their Buddha bowl, it will change your life. Hmm. It is the most delicious stuff. So when you talk about restaurant weeks, mm -hmm. uh, is it do you go on a tour? Do you stop by and get your, your aperitif first? <laughs> and then your your main course and your dessert and your tequila and your I mean, uh, how, how is it? Or do or is it a challenge to visit a restaurant every day? How does that work? How, how does all of that work? Okay, so we usually do a restaurant tour. Okay. And that's where we have five different restaurants. And you do um, different little tastings, and it's kind of like a progressive party where you go from one place to the okay. other to the other. Okay. Now, Restaurant Week is the different participating restaurants. They each have their own menu item or a full menu. Okay. Like Anson 11, you get the choice of three appetizers, three entrees, and two desserts for 40 bucks a person. Oh, my gosh. That's cheap. I know. I know. And in Anson. And, and at a certain day? Or, no, I mean, and that's the beauty of it. So you have 18 restaurants. Okay. You have through Friday of this week to take advantage of all the specials. You can find out all the special pricing, all the special menu items, all everything you need to know, hours, location, everything you need to know on downtownelpaso.com. Okay. Just look for the Restaurant Week banner. Okay. And it's going through Friday night. And it is, we have so many great restaurants, high, low, breakfast, lunch, dinner, mm -hmm. The whole bit. I mean, it just runs the gamut. We've got House of Pizza downtown. Oh. <laughs> House of, I'm telling you, Sal, it's it's shocking that I have not gained 85 pounds. I was going to say, gosh. There are you so know, many great places to eat downtown. We just, you can't we even just have imagine. a little bite. Just have a little know, bite of, right? of everything, right? Exactly. So uh, how what kind of response have you had? Uh, you know, the, the goal of, of downtown management is to take people downtown. Right. So they can so they can explore the downtown area. And most importantly, so why is Viva Otter Group, why is Viva Style Podcast doing a, um, a podcast on restaurants? Well, you know, we are part of the community mm -hmm. and we want to... Um, profile you so so we can get the word out about all the cool right. things that are happening downtown not just downtown but in our city absolutely and see here's the thing about any city what's the first thing you do when you go to a new city what's a really cool local place to go mm -hmm. we are chock full of local places downtown but the other thing is is we when you go out of town like we'll you know we'll tootle up the road for four hours and mm -hmm. go to albuquerque mm -hmm. and check out their zoo and check out their aquarium and go stay at their hotels and go eat at their restaurants. Why are you not doing that here? Right. We Why need to explore our here? city first, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. We have all these amazing hotels downtown. We have the Stanton House. We have the Hotel Paso del Norte. Mm -hmm. We have um, the uh, Aloft, which is in the old Bassett Tower. Yes. We have so many fantastic restaurants and we have so many fantastic hotels. It is such a great place to just go 
and spend a weekend and just kind of be a tourist in downtown. Yeah, we could do that once in a while. But, you know, some people complain about parking. Okay, parking. I know. And I will never understand that. I So yesterday I was wandering around downtown um, giving flyers to businesses because we're also doing Employee Appreciation Day on Thursday. And so I was giving flyers to businesses. I parked with no problem throughout the entire morning and afternoon because I'm sorry, but I like to wear heels to work. And I'm not walking a whole lot. <laughs> so I parked everywhere, all over the place. Okay. And it was super inexpensive. It was really nice. Now, across the street from San Jacinto, you have the coffee box. Mm-hmm. You have this big parking lot. You also have the Mills building. You also have the Chase building. There is parking all over the place. And the best way to find it to the location that's cl- that where you're going to be in downtown is, again, go to our website, downtownelpaso.com, because there's parking um uh, there's a parking map that shows you where the parking is how much it is and how many spaces they have so you're a one-stop shop downtown elpaso.com is a one-stop shop we really are and we also have all of the downtown businesses restaurants hotels um anything you want to know about what's happening downtown it's on our website and then Thursday, we're thanking our downtown employees because I don't know if you've heard about this little thing called the pandemic. Mm-hmm. <gasps> people were doing so much work at home. Yeah. But to be honest with you, lots and lots of people were working downtown because they have the kind of jobs that keep the city going. Right. And so they, they had to no be option. There. <laughs> yeah, they had yeah. to be there. So last year, the downtown management district went ahead and did their first employee appreciation day. Thursday is their second. We're going to be serving 200 free breakfasts, 400 free lunches. We've got Chico coming at noon. He's going to be, he's going to be Chico. I mean, if you've ever seen Chico at one of the games, you just know he's crazy. He's a lot of fun. And where is this happening? It's going to be on Mills Avenue between Mesa and Oregon. So if you know where Anson 11 is, we're going to be Mm -hmm. right catty corner across the street. Oh, good. And it's right there. We're going to have a 360 uh, camera where it spins you know how on, on E! when they do mm-hmm. it at the, at the Oscars? We're going to have one of those. And we're going to do an Instagram contest where if you take a photo or video with you, your office mates, you post it on Instagram and you tag us at downtownelpaso.org. I mean, I'm sorry, dot com. And then you also um, hashtag it with DTEP, which is Downtown El Paso, okay. EAD, Employee Appreciation Day. We're going to be giving away all kinds of swag bags that's going to have $25 gift certificates to area rest to downtown restaurants. We're going to have um, some really cool s'mores. So in the middle of the day when it gets cool <laughs> you and you're at your s'mores. office and you need some like self care, <laughs> you can have a little, a little <laughs> s'more that you can keep hidden in your, in your desk. Um, we're also going to have a bunch of chihuahuas and locomotive swag in there. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's just take a photo. That's it. And then, you know, we're going to be pulling out 10 people to win. The fast. Lifted. Luxurious. Fun and friendly to the environment. The Viva Auto Group has a special vehicle just for you. We don't just sell cars. It's about making a connection and helping our community. Viva was there to cheer our mighty mujeres. and award scholarships to high school seniors on a cancer journey. I feel really honored and like grateful that I was able to receive this and even share my story. And Team Viva proved we don't just sit on the sidelines to support triathletes, we participate. Viva invests in our people because we are driven by purpose and vision. What's your Viva style? It's what you want it to be. As somebody from El Paso, home, homegrown, uh, why do you think this is important? You know, my family has been in El Paso since the early 1900s, and downtown was always the place to be. We went shopping down there. Remember when the Popular was open, mm-hmm. the White House, a Learners. I mean, just these fantastic yeah. places to shop. The Crest, which is getting renovated. It's right. going to be open. Paul Foster's doing that. Um, you went down there to do everything. You know, even when I was a kid and then we lost it in the 80s and the 90s. And it was so sad. And there was no reason to go downtown. There really wasn't. Mm -hmm. 
And then everybody got together and said, hey, this is the center of our city. This is our history. This is where the whole thing started. Mm-hmm. You're going to find the oldest buildings. You're going to find the first buildings. You're going to find the first settlements. You're going to find everything in downtown El Paso. And one of the coolest things I love about it is that we literally are across the street from Mexico. Right. It is the coolest thing. I mean, in San Diego, you have to go a no man's land of three or four miles (laughs) before you hit the border. Yeah. But we're right there. And I love that. I love that we're just this totally binational city and we just, you know, international. We're just fantastic. I just love it. And everybody goes downtown. So because uh, it, it, the change and the, the transition and the transformation had already started before COVID, but COVID really did push us into a new, into a new world. What, what challenges do you see maybe, maybe reaching the different demographics? Or do you have a challenge? You had to pivot and, and learn how to use Instagram and mm-hmm. TikTok and social media and, and market to really a new demographic. Yes. So what, what challenges uh, have you faced with well, that? Well, I think because, um, because of the pandemic, you, you had a lot of people who were really looking inwards. They were, people were scared. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were all holed up in our houses going, oh man, mm-hmm. what is going on here? And so our challenge now is to say, come on out. We're doing the best we can to keep everything as safe as we can. There are lots of, you see a lot of people with masks on, you see a lot of people without masks on. Mm -hmm. But you have that sense of community downtown. And I think it's really important to let people know that you always need a place where you're going to gather. Like in every family, there's that one house where everybody goes. La abuelita or la tía. (laughs) Everybody goes for the christenings, for the birthdays, for the weddings, after the funerals. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes to that house. That's the center of of the family. El Paso downtown is the center of El Paso. Mm -hmm. Really, literally now. I mean, think about how far (laughs) we've spread. And so we really are the center of everything because we're the beginning of everything. And so you have to keep that going. That's what makes El Paso, El Paso. El Paso is nothing but family oriented. Yes. Where, Where did you go to high school? Do you know my tradition, cousin? culture, yeah. everything, and everybody's everything. connected somehow. Yeah, and it all it all just comes right back down to that center heartbeat in the in the center of town. There's a saying in Spanish: "Si quieres ver a dónde vas, voltea para atrás." Yes. So if you know where you're going, you got to look back a little bit and remember your roots. Remember where where it all started. Because let's say it started in Mexico somewhere. Your parents wound up here anyway, or your grandparents, right. or whatever for, for whatever reason. And and we grew up here and make El Paso our our place. Mm-hmm. What better way to make El Paso our place and be a part of something bigger than ourselves than to than to take part in the redevelopment and the re reimagining of the downtown area right. and i'm not saying that the rest of the city isn't fantastic no, there are so is. many great things on the west side mm-hmm. i love the northeast part of town and the northwest part of town where it just looks like such a different city it's mm-hmm. so new it's so like hip and it's so sleek and everything it looks really great in the area of town where i live in in Sierra vista it's like you know it's it's so old school it's so post-war <laughs> it's so it's just so much fun And I just, you know, I love all the parts of town. And wow, don't even get me started on the Lower Valley. Love me the Lower Valley. But you have to remember that, you know, when you you are starting out, you have to know the center of something. Mm -hmm. You really do. And you have to know the history of it. You have to, and you have to appreciate it. Like in any city that you're going to go to, what's the first thing that people do? Well, if I'm going to go to San Diego, I'm going to go to Old Town. Mm-hmm. You know, if I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to go to the older villages, you know, inside of the city. You know, you're going to Manhattan. Go- <laughs> <laughs> or to know, Broadway. Right? There's so many things to see I in know, New York, exactly. but there's so many things to see here in El Paso as well. So uh, the restaurant week is winding down. Yes. Uh, 18 restaurants participating. Go to downtownelpaso.com for all of the information, including parking. So uh, don't be afraid to go downtown. There's a lot of fun things to do downtown. Yeah. Patricia, we appreciate you being here. Uh, anything else that we need to add? Well, don't forget about Fiesta, Fiesta de las Luces. It's on El Paso Street, October 22nd. Mm-hmm. It's going to be kind of a Halloween theme. We're going to have all kinds of great music, live music. We're going to have three or four bands. We're going to have Folklorico, 45 vendors, 
10 food trucks. It's just going to be a lot of fun. We had almost 9,000 people wow. on September um, 17th. And okay. it was, we just had a blast. We had so much fun. So One big out. party. Party it, after party after party. It's true. Your that's what I do short. for a living. Yeah. <laughs> that, how fun is that? It's a lot of fun. And you remember that you can take the trolley, you can take public transportation, but we want you to take your car, and hopefully it is a Viva car. Remember that we have 17 dealerships in El Paso, Las Cruces, Santa Fe, and Albuquerque. And if you're driving a Viva car, just be careful out there, and hopefully you can take it downtown as well. Thanks for watching, everybody, and remember to like and share the Viva Auto Group uh, Facebook page, and let your let your friends know about our podcast. We have a lot of interesting guests like Patricia Martinez and uh, a lot of interesting topics. And if you can come up with something that you'd like us to talk about, you know, send us a little message as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys have a great day and go downtown and check it out. Nadie lucha solo contra el cáncer. En veces necesitamos a alguien que nos dé la mano, nos escuche o quizás para tomar un paseo. Soy Estela Casas, soy sobreviviente y te invito a caminar juntos contra el cáncer del seno. Inscríbete aquí para la caminata Stand with Estela Casas 5K, Fun Run y Kids Dash. Y te espero este primero de octubre en el Parque Azcárate, porque nadie lucha solo contra el cáncer. Lo haremos juntos. To think about today's conversation, go to the Viva Auto Group Facebook page and like us. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned car or truck, we invite you to choose a Viva vehicle.